These things make zero sense. They can literally heal themselves. Well, we can too, but we have white blood cells, platelets, and fibroblasts helping our body. Whereas these thingies literally don't rely on anything. They just heal. JIT is straight up wild. See, self-healing concept is not yet fully grasped. We can't make everything self-heal. But there's some major research popping off right now. We have already got lots of self-healing thingies, like self-healing polymer, concrete, glass, and even fabrics for clothes, you know? The healing process is pretty simple. Here we have big G and little g. They are made out of polymer. We cut both of them right at the middle. We put big G's torso on little g, and we put little g's torso on big G. And now both of them are medium G's. So fam, what's so crazy about these? My chewing gum can do the same. Cut it in half, squish it back together, and boom, it's fixed. And even my water reattaches. Well, gang, I claim cap because they are not healing, they are simply sticky. Like, the gum even sticks to my hand. Doesn't mean it's self-healed, though, because I'm obviously not made of gum. And same goes for the water. So, gang, instead of asking how these thingies self-heal, we have to ask, why can't other thingies do the same? Like, what's Iron's excuse? Why can't this fam do the same? On a microscopic level, Iron is made of these thingies called ions and these thingies called electrons. Now, if we cut this into two and try to put this back together, it doesn't just snap back like magic. Wait, it kind of does. Did this fam just do it? Did it self-heal? Or am I just capping? You think I am capping, because you have tried and you know that Iron doesn't reconnect. But I'm not. Actually, it can join back. But here is the T. Oxygen is the real hater. When iron is cut, oxygen reacts with iron and that forms a layer of oxidization. It low-key happens mad fast and on a very tiny level. So, gang, if we put iron in space, it should low-key self-heal. Or, simply put, connect with the other iron. And it does happen, occasionally. Sometimes, parts that are supposed to be separate can stick together because there is no oxidization layer. And uh, that, for real, causes a lot of problems for our Astro Boys. So gang, iron can low-key self-heal, but doesn't cause of oxygen. But polymer is more like a plastic. Now, what's plastic's excuse from self-healing? Putting it simply, it just can't. On a microscopic level, this is what plastic be looking like. These thingies are atoms, and these lil lines are bonds connecting them. When plastic is cut, these ends get mad desperate and start grabbing onto whatever's nearby, like oxygen in air, or even random molecules if they are in a vacuum. And that low key seals the ends up. In simple, it's like cutting a rope, then burning the ends, and now they can't be tied together anymore. Plastic and polymer are both made from the same sauce, petroleum. If they are both from the same stuff, why does plastic stay busted? While polymer can low-key heal itself. Well, it's all about how polymers low-key do their magic when they heal up. There is a whole lot of ways for polymers to pull off that self-healing trick. But the best of the bunch are vascular networking and dynamic covalent bonds. Vascular networking is simple. When they're making the polymer, they throw in these tiny capsules filled with some sticky liquid. The whole thing gets made and those capsules just chill inside the polymer. Now, if the polymer gets cut or whatever, the capsules pop and the sticky stuff leaks out. Now, if you push the pieces back together, boom, it sticks like magic. Dynamic covalent bonding is low-key complicated, but let's break it down in simple language. Imagine it's like those Velcro straps you see on tactical vests or even some drip, like shoes. If it rips or breaks, no biggie. You just slap it back together and boom, it sticks again, just like Velcro. Well, gang, now you know how self-healing materials work, but it isn't for free, especially not in this economy. It will cost you a subscribe, and if you want a tip, then leave a like.